Hey guys, I'm Jinx and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Uh we we have to go into the flower shop to confront Mac, Mac Loudon. But before we do that, I actually um I want to go to the bar real quick to test something and there are butterflies here. <laughs> um it's not what I wanted to say. And I I actually want to say a couple things because I've, I've been meaning to say like two things for this entire let's play but I kept getting sidetracked by how awesome everything is anyway so before we look at bench girl because I don't know if we looked at her sadness um first off maybe most importantly the audio issues should be fixed I hope from last episode they I, I was using RN noise which is like a noise suppression filter um, in Streamlabs. I use Streamlabs to record, don't at me. Anyway, uh, I was using that for some reason. I didn't use to, but I, I had it, and it turns out that that might have been fucking with my audio quality, because it was. Tr I think it was trying to suppress the noise of my PC's fans, but I don't think those PC fans were picked up by the mic anyway. But... Like, not in the recording, but the... My, I don't know. It's weird, but I think that was causing the issue. So it shouldn't come up anymore, I hope. We'll see. I really can't test it other than just recording. But you should be able to hear it. If my voice is sounding okay, which it should be, then everything's great. Secondly, less importantly, my fucking chair broke. <laughs> I don't have a proper chair right now. I'm sitting on a fucking way too tiny... Um, plastic stool and like two pillows so if you ever hear like pained grunts coming from me that that's why it's because my ass is sore and I have to move <laughs> and this I probably should have said um, in like episode one or zero but this game came out on my birthday almost Supposedly, it came out on September 10th, and my birthday is September 9th, so it came out like one day... Alright, she just despawned that camera. It supposedly, it came out like one day after my 18th birthday, actually. Um, but I remember it being purchasable on the 9th. Like, not pre-order, I think just proper purchase. I don't know. There's a bird. Anyway. Um, I want to go to the flower shop, be uh, not flower shop, to the bar, because, oh, what was the name? I think maybe Diane, the, um, the lady that works with Typhon, that we saw coming out of the Silver Dragon that we met, um, she was talking to the miners, so I, and she was headed this direction, so I want to go back into the bar, uh, and then come back out and see if that triggers a cutscene of us, like, seeing her again so maybe we can follow where she goes and if not then not but I want to see what makes her sad hold on oh it's that guy's sister I feel so bad for her getting sick of people feeling bad for me hmm yeah well we can't talk to her so I don't think we looked at that before like no 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 we we, we did look at that is the game stuttery but that's the game's fault, not mine. Maybe because it's loading in. Um... Dude, just... I mean, this is so fucking pretty. <laughs> this is so pretty. Let's go... Uh, let's go into the Black Lantern. And it's so cool that you just have, like, free reign of everything. Like, we can just go back into the Black Lantern if I want to. That 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 hasn't been the case so far uh, in these games. So it's so cool. And that stutter was from the game, so it's because I just started it up. And the jukebox isn't running, excuse me? I want to hear some music. Maybe... Uh... Song missing. That's oh. too bad. God damn it. You... Fucking hell. Fine. Um 
Let's do just so we have something in the background while we're in here. Uh, Saint John, no, shit gets real. I, did we listen to Unfuck Yourself? Let's listen to Unfuck Yourself. We might have... <laughs> that might be the song I played last time, but I think it was, um... Kick Your Own Ass. Oh, Jed! I've only known Jed a few days. But he's got my back better than any care worker ever did. Dude, I, I, I still, Jet is favorite character. <laughs> he's so amazing. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. I think they will. I just don't know when. Might it might take a while, you know. There's a half-eaten donut. Yeah, it's all from the wake still, right? Glass? Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. Oh. <laughs> mm. Aww. I wish we'd had more time. Look at that. Look. <laughs> oh, man. I like Gabe. Fuck's sake. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um... Let's let's go. Let's move this forward. We have a Mac Loudon to confront, which I, which you know, we should have done like two episodes ago. But I, <laughs> I just kept looking around. <laughs> Does this trigger a cutscene where we see um, that woman again? Mm, nope. All right. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. I'm aware. I just wanted to see if we can see where, um, you know, whoa, if we can see where that lady went. I don't know if her name is Diane or not. Doesn't matter. Anyway, Jesus Christ, look, I mean, would you not want to live here? Holy shit. <laughs> I know I've expressed that thought a couple times so far, but I'm not going to stop, man. Jesus. Haven Drugs. Anyway, uh, flower shop. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? <laughs> what could go wrong? Probably nothing at all. Hi there. Eleanor? Oh! Jesus. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Adjusting, I guess? Still just... Trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. God damn it. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. Ah, fuck. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Figure out why she's afraid. Ooh. Sure. Whoa, we're suddenly back there. How does she hide all of this? Is it. 
because she can't remember what she was about to do? All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. So... The doctor said the doctor I had, said more, time, had more time, but everything is becoming, becoming so, so out of out order. Of order. Jesus. I didn't fucking expect to be thrown into this. Yeah, she's, um... Afraid of her dementia. If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. And she's afraid of closing, having to close the shop. Shit. Anything back? Oh. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Yeah, I kind of figured you would keep it hidden from her, too. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Holy shit. Um... Jesus. Don't make me repeat myself, Jesus. And the constant heartbeat. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? It's a good question. I have no idea. All we can do is make her... F I mean, our powers are connected to memory. But I don't think, I don't think we're going to be able to, uh... Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Uh... Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. <laughs> the, the names. Would she have... Is it showing me what she did first? Or do I have to look around? Register. Can we check that as first? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Maybe, f maybe the phone? Did you maybe call someone? I can't say for sure. Don't forget. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading the uh, post-it note. Did anything happen with Riley? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. 
Maybe the register? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's helpful. Oh, she was doing something here, too, but we can't walk there. So maybe, yeah, maybe the flowers. Those seem like they're the same kind of flowers. The one at the uh, front thing. Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. All right, well, I kind of feel like I'm fucking this one up. Um. Oh, 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 of course. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Uh-huh. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Well, you said Mac was there, right? So, he came in. Isn't that what distracted you? And then, then you were about to go back to it, but then I came in? Alright. Okay. S um, right. Right, right, right. So what would have distracted her? Again, I think Mac, but what does, sh what does he help with? I don't know. Maybe the phone rang? Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. Oh. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Um, okay. That's... I wonder who called. Maybe Riley. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness. What was the order for? But it was set, damn it. We heard that. We heard what it was about. Can I, can I, can I, again? I know Riley called. Oh. But what came next? I wonder what Riley came into order. Okay, okay. So Riley ordered something. Maybe flowers. If the you know, if it wasn't trimming the flowers, maybe she, maybe she came for some lilies. Rush order. Yeah. This must be what Riley came in for. Nice. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Alright. Now we have to figure out who ordered them. Sure, I guess. I don't know. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That oh, could yeah. tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. His name is Jedediah? Oh, I like him even more now. Holy shit, that is expensive. Alright, there we go. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. Yeah. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. I try. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. Oh, okay. 
there isn't much to debate in my mind, obviously. I get why you might not, right? <laughs> yeah, I totally understand, but, but here's the scenario. We don't tell her, the entire fucking town knows it's in the newspapers, she's, like, she's gonna figure it out anyway, right? She is gonna hear that anyway, and then she's gonna figure out, holy shit, I forgot that it happened. That's gonna happen anyway. I would rather tell her here and now, and have it be us that tells her. But Jesus. You could spare some punches, I mean, fucking hell. Like, right when we're happy, hey, we figured it out, I, I know this, you know, we haven't fixed the problem, but at least today, we made a positive change. Nope. Immediately afterward, boom, she doesn't remember the fucking funeral. Fucking hell. God. Of course we'll tell her about Gabe. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake! I... missed it! Alex... I'm so sorry. Hey, it's okay. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that sucked. Yeah. But at least I told her the truth. Yeah. Again, she would have heard it anyway. I... She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Jesus. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. <laughs> Yeah, she knows her shit. D Dude, I did not- I, I seriously expected an argument with Mac Loudon, you know, coming in here. I did not expect all this. Holy shit. I've definitely lived in uglier places. <laughs> yeah, well, we've heard, you've heard me talk about that. <laughs> that enough. Man, I mean, fucking just look at this place. Doormat. What? What? <laughs> okay. It says home sweet home, my guy. Fine, fine. I hope it's good news. Ah, oh, holy shit. They, they, uh, they even have a letter from the fucking hospital here. Important information is enclosed. Something tells me it's not good news. But Jesus Christ, I hope it is. That must have been a different time. <laughs> you think? Gnomes. Oh God, they're multiplying. Ah, oh, for f We just had to pay attention to it too. Now it's gonna actually happen. Jesus Christ, they're gonna multiply. Okay, this shirt rules. Is it Riley's? Wow. What do you want? You wanna make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place, and anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Oh, God! Way to take the bait, Rye. 
You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. So she was made fun of. And by her fucking way to take the bait, right? I assume she was made fun of a lot. Fucking hell. And of course, Mac, Mac, you know, I was probably one of the first people of that, like, age range and whatnot that came to her and said, hey, what you're doing is actually pretty cool. So, yeah. Great things have small beginnings. Or something. Well, they better fucking have. <laughs> that better be fucking true. To help fill the gaping void inside, we offer you our condolences in the form of this mass-produced card. <laughs> Please don't be so cynical. It's not the companies producing them that offer condolences. It's people who go out and think, hey, this is cute looking. Or good looking, or I don't know, sad looking. There is a genuine meaning and intention behind it, usually coming from a person. That's what makes it good. That guy is still bad to the gnome. <laughs> Repeating jokes, just like me, almost makes me proud. I should get an emotional support dog, but like, for other people. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, the dog is- it's an emotional support dog, but it follows you around. <laughs> Helping you- supporting you help other people. <laughs> That's not the worst idea, I suppose. It's very interesting, anyway. So what- great, so now we have to find Mac, for fuck's sake. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? You mean the bridge? The bridge bridge? The one that's, you know, conveniently blocked <laughs> with, with fucking sacks? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, anyway. We... I think... Whoa, what? Ah, uh, we haven't read this. Ha Haven Springs Realty. We couldn't be more excited to announce that a new face will be joining the community soon. Everyone, welcome Jack Stevens, who will be taking over the restaurant next to the park. Hey everyone, excited to serve you all soon. <laughs> welcome to Haven. Happy to have you. Swing over anytime if you need anything. <laughs> it's a trap! JK, JK. Yeah, that's the guy who, um... We, we actually saw him talking with his realtor about buying the place. Hell yeah. Cool. It, it's so cool. So it's official. He's, he's buying it. He's moving in. Cool. Amazing together. I wonder if we would have gotten this message anyway if we haven't, like, listened to the guy and, and looked at his emotions and whatnot. If so, that makes it even cooler in my opinion. So it's just, like, they actually put it in the world too. It's pretty cool. Jasmine... Cormier? Anyone have any good advice for taming stray cats? Found this cutie in my trash cans, but he... But he's a crazy pants. <laughs> so that's... A big cat. <laughs> he's a chonker. Jasmine, that's not a stray, that's a mountain lion cub. Be very careful, they can be very aggressive when threatened. Try leaving a door open, it may leave on its own. And if he's under my bed, room? I, I I'm calling animal control. Yeah, Mark, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's an amazing stray cat you have, Jasmine. I I wonder if that's. You you remember the place we broke into, the like tiny little thing in the back of someone's home, where I I wondered if the only purpose of actually breaking in there was like an. Uh, an Easter egg or whatever we found. I wonder if he's there. If if the if the mountain lion cub is there, and if so, because this is a recent thing, I want to quickly run back and check it out. 
Hmm, I wonder what Seth's working on. It looks cool. I should DM her to find out more and see how I can help. Cravius, Lord of the Underworld. Yeah. This doesn't happen to have anything to do with your last post, does it? Shoot, <laughs> shoot, there's only one way to find out. I think we've read this before. Whatever it looks... <laughs> you hush, yeah. Whatever it is, looks like it's gonna knock him dead. Th so this we read before, I, but I don't know about these two. Anyway, we have SMS too. Ah, I saw what you did with the LARP. Right, we read this last time. Right, right. It just popped up again because... Um, you know, I closed the game in, in the meantime and it loaded a uh, thing image. It gets fine. We still have the memory. Completely forgot. Riley's memory. The t-shirt. Uh, Riley t-shirt chapter 2. It's fucked up how kids select their uh, scapegoats. It doesn't matter how pretty you are or how smart or how func <laughs> functionally identical you might be to one of the cool kids. All it takes is... One thing, a dorky t-shirt worn on the wrong day. A moment of unstudied enthusiasm when detached cynicism is in a vo- What? Is in vogue? A clumsy misstep, an utterly innocuous nothing that some little asshole latches onto and turns into your whole identity. Poor Riley. These dudes were so cruel to her that she thought about quitting. No more computer stuff, no more building things. It wasn't worth it. But then, and I still can't quite wrap my head around this, Mac showed up, treated her with decency and kindness and respect. Mac Loudon, who got suspended once for spitting tobacco on the floor of the cafeteria, which like, really Mac? Come on, dude. That MacLeodon recognized that Riley was extraordinary, and he went out of his way to make sure she felt that way. But still, man, the chewing tobacco thing. Yikes. <laughs> right. Um, I am gonna run back to that- oh, this way. What was that? Flower shop. Oh. Oh, never mind, not this way, that way. <laughs> I'm still going to run back to the uh, to that trash can real quick. Just real quick. Can we go there from here? Yes, we can. And here's Riley. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Sorry, Riley. I don't think he's innocent. Really? Oh, oh, paw prints. Oh, shit. I know what this means. Somewhere, there's a dog I need to pet. Nope. I know what this means. Somewhere, there's a baby mountain lion cub. <laughs> See, in here, I meant. Do you think he was in here? Yeah, he might have been. That looks like the... <laughs> I hope I didn't miss him. That looks like the same... The same trash can. And it would make sense, too. But the paw- no, the paw prints were there before. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it. But the paw prints could be from the thing. From the, uh, mountain lion cub. Fuck Typhon, eh. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I- <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching. There is a baby mountain lion on- uh, baby mountain lion on the loose. Which I'm sure will turn into a big issue. Not. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Next time we'll... Well, I'm not looking forward to it, but, you know, we'll find Mac, probably. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen.